Hi, this is the uh, HP uh, DC5750M that I uh, showed in a video how to clean out before. So I'm going to show you again how to take the uh, cover off. We're going to remove some parts out of here. I'm going to show you how to change out some things. So uh, grab, the, grab the screw here if you need a flathead or a star uh, tool to loosen it. But I um, already had this off a number of times. You need to grab with your nails in there and pull back. If that doesn't work, then lay it on the side and pound on it to, in the backward motion and take the cover off. Now on the cover, there's some uh, directions. Actually, I have this upside down. So there's some directions there uh, on how to, um, how to take things out. I'm going to set this over, providing I don't drop it. Uh, we're going to take the front cover off. So I'm going to swing this around. Try to do this with one hand before I put, the, uh, put this up on the uh, tripod. Uh, it's relatively clean um, inside. You've got a green thing right here. And uh, what you're going to do is push this that way, all right? And with the front pop pops off, take it and put it out, out of the way. I showed this before where you have a whole bunch of screws right here for extra um, uh, installing extra uh, devices on this side, such as hard drives, CD-ROM drives, and all that. Now, uh, I'm going to set this on, set this down. Uh, in the last one, I showed you how to uh, clean out this fan. So uh, we're going to take some things out of here. For example, if you ever have to change out the hard drive, all right, you're going to disconnect the two connect uh, connectors here. Hopefully, you have your restore CDs or some other operating system you're going to load to replace the hard drive because these actually come with the uh, uh, restore uh, programs on a partition of the hard drive. So if you didn't make the um, uh, restore CDs, you have to order them from HP. All right, this is the lever right here, and um, you're going to take it and push it that way. When you grab this this way, you need to take another finger and get under here. Don't touch the circuit board. Get under here and lift up. All right. So what you're doing is you're clearing the screw down here. So it's almost going to feel like you're going to break it. You're going to put it up, put it all the way out until you cannot um, uh, move it anymore, and you're going to lift this guy out and pull it out. All right. And it is. It takes a little play. Uh, actually, you got move that again to get by that second one. So what you want to do is when you get your other um, your other hard drive, it could be a little thicker. You do have room in there. All right. Uh, this uh, this uh, size is a 160 gig. All right. This is uh, uh, and uh, you could probably I think uh, the stats say you can go up to uh, uh, 500 or uh, even a, maybe a terabyte on this. So you have to go to HP's website and see what the uh, maximum capacity is allowed on the BIOS. All right, take your four screws out. It's a flathead or a star, just like the back uh, nut. Take your four screws out, put them into the only holes on the sides of the new hard drive, and pop it back in. Uh, put it right back in. Remember, the circuit board's facing you. That's how I uh, remember that, okay? When you do so many computers, it's hard to remember, remember each and every one. Uh, when you put these connectors back on, put them underneath the clips. That's, uh, that's on the, the fan, uh, on your fan thing. Uh, that's, that's just um, that's just the right thing to do. All right. I don't like it when I see uh, technicians uh, just slap them, slap them back on there without putting them in the right area. So take these and run them back underneath all the fasteners, and down you go. You ha you do have another one over here for another hard drive that goes down here. I want to make sure this is in. Okay, it's right here. All right. So. Um, that's where you have your extra screws to go down. I didn't see another clip on the front. Where's the front? I don't see another green clip, as in this guy. So when it goes down the side, I think what you may want to do is actually screw one straight in. That way it stays put. Because I don't see another clip, clip like, uh, like the one we have up here uh, for this other drive. When you're done uh, putting the hard drive back in, or upgrading. Go ahead and put your two clips. You have two clips right here. Just going to go in up up here and then click. All right. And then you cover. Remember your little uh, screw goes in the back. The screw right here goes in the back. Put it on there. You have to o go over this ledge here. All right. And slide it forward. And fasten it in the back, and you're all done. All right. So, uh, so 
make sure it's all the way on too. It does take some playing around sometimes with these things. So just make sure you get it all the way on and uh, you're ready to reload your system. If you, uh, if you like the video, go ahead and subscribe. There's a lot more to be seen.